Postcard Tycoon. Hey there, welcome to my Postcard Tycoon review. This is going to be a short video just to take a quick look at the Postcard Tycoon business model and whether it looks like a legitimate business model to get involved with or not. And I work from home doing digital marketing. I've been doing this for 10 years now. So I've seen lots of different programs come and go. I've seen various different postcard programs like this come and go over the years and done for you systems and all that. So hopefully my thoughts will be of help. If you want to discover the current number one system I'm currently recommending to plug into right now, a complete done for you system, all about getting traffic, building your email list and earning high commissions promoting digital products, click the link below. Click the link in the video description below for my current number one recommended done for you system. Postcard Tycoon is actually quite a unique approach in that it's offline marketing with postcard marketing and they also have a text messaging and email approach to it but it's more of the sort of marketing where someone will manually send a text message to you or manually send you a personal email to you or manually respond via the mail with a check for the products so it's more of an old school personalized branding approach to marketing which i quite like the look of actually however i would think this type of method is better applied online so you can do typical list building approaches with online advertising and free methods such as videos and blogging but then you can put your own photo on your lead capture page in your emails put your a text message number, whether it's your own personal one or an automated text message autoresponder. And you, and you can encourage people to personally mail you. So it's a good idea to use these personalized approaches to your marketing, but you don't have to do the postcard marketing approach. You can simply add more personalized contact methods and branding to your existing digital marketing approaches. So that's what I would prefer to take away from this. However, some people want to do the offline postcard mailing approach where you're sending these postcards to other people. What I don't like the look of with um, the postcard tycoon offer is you are essentially using the postcards to resell the same opportunity that you've just purchased. So it's a $300 opportunity and you are buying postcards and buying marketing materials and leads, names and addresses of people to send the postcards to but you're promoting the same offer you've just purchased. So I don't like that. I don't like the fact you're reselling the exact same offer you've just purchased. However, this is only $300. So I'd be completely against that type of resale rights opportunity if it cost $10,000 or $30,000 or so. I've seen postcard systems costing that much, and I think that's crazy just to pay $10,000 for branded postcards to just resell the same opportunity. You're essentially paying $10,000 or $30,000 just for resale rights in that case. And I think that's a bit crazy. However, for $300, even if the company goes out of business and you stop promoting the postcard tycoon offer yourself, if you learn how to do postcard marketing and how to brand yourself, how to personally respond to leads via text and email, um, and set up these whole marketing campaigns with offline marketing, the $300 would be worth it alone, in my opinion, just for the education. And then if the company goes bust and you're not able to resell the product anymore, you can apply that education to postcard marketing for other opportunities, for other offers. You can stand outside, um, step outside the box and promote primarily online marketing opportunities, but promote the offline in the future with this kind of education. that's So I think that's the value, even if you're just reselling the products, is learning how to do postcard marketing. And then you can apply that training and skills elsewhere. I'm just not that keen on the fact that the postcards are branded. The, the product is essentially marketing materials to resell the product you've just purchased. So you're just reselling pre-existing ads to sell the pre-existing ads over and over again. So I don't see the value in that. But since it's only $300, that is a low ticket opportunity. And you can use that amount as training and apply that training and the experience of creating postcards and sending them out. You can apply that to other things. And this has quite an old school website. Um, there's lots of different front end websites for this because it's a direct marketing opportunity. So you get paid directly from people you sign up. There's not a company that has an e-wallet 
and then they store your commissions and pay you a cut. What happens is to buy Postcard Tycoon, you send two separate payments. You send one payment to the company, which is an admin fee, and that's how the company makes their money, and then one payment directly to your sponsor. So you're handling payments directly for this, and that can be via check or PayPal or Venmo Cash App or your own merchant account. So I don't like the direct payment opportunities because I don't want to get paid directly. I'd rather the company handle that and then pay me the affiliate commissions every couple of weeks. However, some people like the direct payments because they can take that money and reinvest it back into more marketing material and quickly scale their business without waiting for the cash. But a disadvantage to that is if people want to refund or do a chargeback or something that will harm your merchant account reputation. If someone wants to do a chargeback, it will go via your system rather than the company's. So there's various different pros and cons with Postcard Tycoon. I'm not that keen on postcard marketing opportunities in general, where you're just buying marketing material to resell the same thing. But I quite like the fact it's only mid-ticket, and if you give it a try, you can learn some postcard marketing skills that you can apply to other things in the future. That's where I see the value of a business opportunity, is when you can apply the training and apply the skills you learn to promote anything else later on and customize it and that's where the value is it's not just reselling what you've just purchased it's taking the training so you can customize it and apply it to projects outside completely outside of the product and system you've just purchased hopefully my quick thoughts on postcard tycoon were of help if you click that link below click the link in the video description below you can see my number one online digital system to plug into right now. It's a complete done for you system and a really excellent way to get started building a passive affiliate income stream. So I'll put the link below for my number one system to plug into. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. All the best guys and speak soon.